Merhabalar ve istiyorum dersine hoş geldiniz. Hello and welcome to the I want class. I'm going to also call this pre-verbal nouns. Uh, just like you take pre-calculus before you take calculus. Uh, let's learn about istiyorum before we learn about verbal nouns. So the thing I want you to pay attention to in this class, this lesson, is that there is one actor or one person in each of these sentences. So how do you say I want to verb? So I want to blink, I want to go, I want to eat, I want to drink, I want to dance and be merry. I also instead might want to repent. I want to not dance and be merry anymore, but I want to read the scriptures. I want to pray. I want to write in my journal. All you have to do is take the fiil with its mek or muk and say istiyorum, I want to. And of course, put the personal suffix here at the end. And of course, with any verbal sentence in Turkish, you can add the personal pronoun, such as ben, sen, o, biz, siz, or onlar. But the thing that's not optional that you need, that you are required to put on there, is this end suffix, the personal suffix. Okay. All right, so let's just review what ben, sen, o, biz, siz, and onlar mean. So ben is just simple I. Sen is you. When it's one person, always. Usually it's with friends, informal, just casual. Or it's with prayer. This is the, thy, thou, thine. Uh, what we say, sen. It's informal. Um, just like in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, when Romeo says, wherefore art thou? Or Juliet says, wherefore art thou, Romeo? It's because he was her, girl, her boyfriend, right? Um, she was being super informal, actually. In modern English, in the time of Shakespeare, we used the, thy, thou, as the informal, and you was very formal. So when we pray, we use sen. Uh, because we are informal with Heavenly Father, um, and he wants to have a conversation with us. All right. Oh, no gender in Turkish, just he, she, or it covers everything. Biz, we, simple we, first person plural. Siz, you is plural, so it could be you guys, but it could also be formal. Onlar is they, uh, third person plural. All right, for this video, instead of having you pause your video and putting the answers on the screen, I'll have you say the sentences out loud as I say them in English. Okay, so I'll give you a few seconds after I say them in English to say them in Turkish. Are you ready? How do you say, I want to read? Okumak istiyorum. Okumak istiyorum. They want to pray. Dua etmek istiyorlar. Dua etmek istiyorlar. Your companion wants to go. Yoldaşın gitmek istiyor. Yoldaşın gitmek istiyor. Notice that when I'm talking about your companion, we're talking about he, right? He wants to go. So that's the subject of this sentence, is your companion. That is the one person, the one actor that wants to do something. And the person that's wanting and the person that is wanting to do, the verb, is the same. That's very important because we're going to get into sentences where there are people that want to do two different things or someone that wants something, someone to do something. Uh, where there are more than one actors and more than one verb. All right. My brother wants to believe. Kardeşim inanmak istiyor. 
kardeşim inanmak istiyor. Do you want to eat? Yemek istiyor musun? Yemek istiyor musun? Couple more. The Lord wants to save. Rab kurtarmak istiyor. Rab kurtarmak istiyor. We want to go to Turkey. Türkiye'ye gitmek istiyoruz. Türkiye'ye gitmek istiyoruz. Do you want to go to church? Kiliseye gitmek istiyor musun? Kiliseye gitmek istiyor musun? All right, that's all for this pre-verbal noun class. And we'll practice these more class, inshallah.